Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of an Aussie Farming in the Philippines. Hi, I. How are you, darling? Good. So, we've only just slowed down. The time is 25 past 7. Normally we've eaten dinner by now on Friday, pizza night. But getting that bad boy over there done, I tell ya. I tell you guys. So tomorrow, I'll just be butchering tomorrow. And, um, well, Frida's going to come in and look after the animals. Then Sunday night, Sunday afternoon, we asked them, can you do another one on Sunday? And they said, yes, if you book it, we'll do it. You know, you've got to get the hot tubs going and all that stuff. So I get one Sunday afternoon, then it can dry overnight, and Monday I'll just spend putting that one down. So that new freezer we've got will be bloody in handy. Because the swine flu is travelling around, as you know, and before it gets to us, we're going to put our pigs down, because our graveyard is full. And they've done, how many pigs did they do today, hun? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. 10 pigs. So they've done 10 pigs today. So um, one lady who we buy the beer off, she said her sister-in-law, they, um, their pig stopped eating. So um, they put it down and she said it's swine flu. And she went, lucky I didn't order it for the shop then. So, so we're on the right track, guys. We're on the right track. So we'll just see how the mumba pig goes yet. We don't know, but we're full quarantine on there. No one goes in there but me. And it's all foot bath all the way through, so let's see. So screw that. Let's get into this. So first beer, bloody 7.25. My God, what are you drinking, I? Right? Apple beer. Apple beer. How good is that? Right, so what we're doing tonight, I always got the big tray. Oh, look at that. There's a hand mark there. <laughs> I always got the big tray. She's going to do a ham and pineapple Hawaiian. And pepperoni in the middle. And my lovely new one that I really just fell in love with, the creamy ranch dressing. Ranch dressing instead of tomato, followed by bacon, bacon and chicken, roast chicken. I'm thinking of taking it another step further next time and adding some mushrooms like Tony does. He also adds garlic to his as well. So um, we're gonna get into that now, guys. It's late, we're tired, but you gotta have Friday night pizza, mate, I'll tell you. Right away, get the spoons out, Dales. Let's do it. Lovely. So what are you making again, I? Hawaiian. Hawaiian. I'm going to put a... Last, last one I did, I didn't put so much on. So I'm going to try something tonight. It's the last of the bottle. So I'm going to try to put it down as a, a bit of a layer look. To see how that goes. Because seriously, guys, this is a bloody good pizza. Bloody good. It's been around for years. Absolute years. Which I never knew. This is weird. Right, so ham and pineapple and pepperoni. Yes, lovely. Look at this. And I've even got some snacks left with the dogs as well. I even cook, cooked up the, um, I cut off the skin off the, off the bacon. Then I cooked the bacon up and then I done a separate one for the dogs with all the skin for little treats. Got to look after your babies, guys. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh God, William. Oh, I love this pizza, guys, seriously. Oh, you know what I didn't get out, I? The herbs. The herbs. Shit. Look at that. Friday night pizza on the Aussie farm in the Philippines. Come on down. What are you making? <laughs> Hawaiian. Ah. Right, pepperoni. I was a couple of slices short. It's only I pack it to the um, the pan normally, but this one's a bit bigger. But not to worry, we still get lots of cheese and all that, so no problem. Thank you very much, I. Let's get the plates out. Pizza plates, where are they? Pizza plates. Oh my God. Oh my God, my dude, you've done it again. Lovely. Well girls, welcome to pizza night. So the first one is the ranch. And William has got a lovely, lovely little red wine to go with it. Mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Wow. All right, so this is the ranch one with um, chicken and bacon. So bon appetiti. Cheers, I. That is gorgeous. What do you think? So nice. Nice. I love it. Or oh, I say it's hot. <laughs> well, I tell you, we're getting that pizza's down right, aren't we? Mm. Bloody getting them there. Well, this one went in short time, and um, I think different different type of pan. So it's a little bit over. Not happy with that. 
fuck not happy, but it's still fucking edible. Definitely. Definitely. Right, the last one out is the pepperoni. So we tried the pizzas on the different settings. This is the second time we've cooked pizzas in that new oven. So we put it at the top to start with and it cooked the top but not too much on the bottom so we dropped it down and we got it right however the timing from the top shelf to now on the bottom shelf this is reduced by about three minutes but it's still okay i'm still happy with that so there you go thank you for your help tonight i welcome thank you baby and um let's try the pepperoni out and see what it's like yummy what do you think Nice, isn't it? My favorite. So this was the half recipe normally, but I added quarter again. So three quarter recipe for the dough. And that works out perfect for the flat pieces. But when we do the pan thick ones, we gotta use the full what full recipe. But I'll tell you, bloody it turned out alright. I like this, I'll tell you that that pepperoni from the um, German deli mm. in Tuggum. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. That is real good pepperoni. And I'll tell you, I like that. That's my favourite. Your favourite now? Mm. All right, what's your favourite? What's your favourite? One, two or three? Three. Oh, it's always ah. ham and pineapple. <laughs> she doesn't change, ham and pineapple. All right, guys, that's us for tonight. We've had a big, long day. We've been as busy as hell. We're going to catch us all later on and see us tomorrow, Saturday on the Aussie Farm in the Philippines. <laughs> see you, guys.